All right, it's a beautiful day and we are glad to be alive. Welcome on board on Spring Trends right here on Western Spring Television. And we speak to issues trending on social media, whether it is on X, Instagram, Facebook, wherever it is. And um, we speak to, you know, the situations we hear, feel the polls of people on social media, how they are reacting to such events. My name is Evelyn Ohiole and of course Femi is here how are you doing today Femi? i will do i did yeah we did come quick you know before we came in Femi was, Femi was cracking me up. up i would have let you guys in on what he was saying ah. but then ah, ah. now so you did do but then i want to be my brother's keeper you are so. even yourself keeper because don't be only me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <talk on. laughs> so i'll just i will not do that i will okay. not let the cat out of the bag all right let's just get right onto it very first story of course that is what is trending on social media outside social media on social media the shakeup of the president's cabinet mm -hmm. you know five ministers were dropped seven new ministers were appointed and there were reassignment of ministries to some ministers so it's actually a big shakeup. and of course we have also some appointments of um special advisor with uh, the former minister of uh, sport uh, uh, Sunday Dara making that particular uh, list. According to the uh, presidential statement, it's actually to reinvigorate the system and for um, the administration of President Bolak Metinubu to be able to achieve optimally, you know, what they have set out to achieve. Uh, the president um, announcement came up on Wednesday, which is yesterday, which dismissed five members of his cabinet and um they discharge please okay mm. discharged according to uh the special advisor uh bio nanuga which actually said that they were discharged they were not fired or sacked as it is in some quarters the affected ministers are the minister of women affairs uju ken or Hanneye, the minister of tourism lola adejan minister of education professor tahi maman Minister of State for Housing and Development, Abdullahi Mohammed Wazo, and Minister of Youth Development, Dr. Jamila Bio Ibrahim. And this actually saw some, probably some jubilation in some ministries. And um, reacting to that, some Nigerians are saying if you see civil servants, you know, jubilate mm. when a particular head has been, has been removed, it mm. means that that person is working. I do not know what that means, but that's what Nigerians are saying. Let's check out a reaction. At this time, uh, Grace Alicia says, how could Tinubu replace a woman with a man for minister? No, no, no. I hear, I actually heard or saw people make the statement. Mm. Uh, let me just read what Grace Alicia says. How could Tinubu replace a woman with a man for minister of women affairs, a man heading women affairs? Or so how does this even make sense to you, a man ah, reading true? this? But that's not true. That's uh, that's Iman is actually a woman i think it's because of the name iman Sulaiman ibrahim mm. and a lot of people thought that um, that particular individual is a man and she was actually adding the ministry of state for police uh, uh department before mm. she was moved to the ministry of women affairs but uh iman Sulaiman ibrahim is actually a woman um, this one is from Fresh 83 this is what I expected from the president mm. I am glad to see this and Lord Deck 123 says every social network just focus on Bianca Ojuku's appointment like saying now one big thing tomorrow we go here we go here say they don't reshuffle the old thing again can't appoint new people do I know how many people from different regions with this man don't put for power can't come out them after later in go use all this appointment take break saying that nah, the only press that will give every region appointment. Eh? Nigeria, you cannot satisfy Nigeria, by the way. And Jen underscore Sahan says, merge ministries, sack five, a point seven. I am not understanding. And uh, Femi, your thoughts on this, the shakeup of the president's cabinet. This seems unprecedented. Mm. In less than two years, uh, the president has done a shakeup, a major shakeup, some right. would say. You know, this is uh, far from what we had in the past administration where we had ministers who were underperforming, used up their full tenor without any, you know. Some uh, were even reappointed in the second term. You, you, you understand that. So, but 
what do you make of this situation? It is what it is. <laughs> Say it after me. It is what it is. It is what, what it is. is. That's that's just the way it is. Appointment. Yeah. You know, not so like being uh, some are dropped, some are sorry, discharged, some are appointed, some are transferred to say, come on there, here I go here. These are some of the things. And um I think if you look, um, let me be a bit um political here. At the appointments that were made, um, and the ones that were dropped, they are not the kind of guys you call the big guys, mm. the real political heavyweight, so mm. to say. I think the biggest of those portfolio may be the Minister of Education, actually. Mm. You know, uh, uh, Professor Mah Tahima, uh, Tahima Mama. Mama. Many might say, what is his political weight, by the way? But it doesn't have to be political, mm. but we know these things. That's why I said it is what it is. Mm. Now, the big guys, the big fishes, the former governors that were in this cabinet, the performing and non-performing ones, none of them were touched. Really? The you don't think probably it's because they are performing well. Which of them? I'm just saying. I bet no two counts from my mouth. Now, we have many of them. The defense, many of those guys, the Alakis of this world, the Kayamos, and the real big, big political heavyweights. Mm. None of them was touched. That's just, I'm not saying it's a must, but then you see, and the ones that are appointed. I think the biggest name, really, you know, so to speak, because he was a former minister, maybe Minister Dingyadi, former minister of police affairs, and Sunday Dari, who is now a special advisor on communications and public enlightenment, you mm. know. Uh, these are some of the things that we are seeing at this time. But then, this is what it is. What Nigerians, what me, I'm after, and I'm sure maybe yourself, and, you know, the next person is let them work for the betterment of this great nation called Nigeria. You go reshuffle, you know, just like uh, this thing, cards. Yeah. That you are reshuffling, you are unpacking, you sabi reshuffle, cha win. Yeah. That is the matter. Let Nigerians win, not the mm. political calculations. Because I don't want to start, sound like a politician here. It is, I keep saying, it is what it is. The race for something has begun already. Who fee come in? Who fee go? I think maybe uh, Minister Uju Ohane. Yeah. as well so many person might feel like okay why was she dropped but then it is what, what it is, is. <laughs> and um i actually got picked up something from your statement mm. not be able shuffle or reshuffle parcel no now we'll check up be the thing. Be the thing. let's move on to the next story this morning uh and i think this is coming to with a video so we are going to have the video play now and when we come back we'll take reaction we have 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 we know. And that was why we now. We now. So now, this time they don't mean anything. The Supreme Court said they don't have power. And all they did was to apply to us to please grant them that we can give them seriously. You don't sit here and to double. Do we go back to the area of the house? Do we go back to the area of the house? The only thing I do. All right, uh, that is the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Minister Yesa Wike, speaking to Sabo Lube resident who allegedly, he said, they resisted the FCTA officials who tried to demolish their houses. And, you know, those residents said they have their papers and uh, the officials cannot just walk into their community and start demolishing houses yeah. since they have their documents from the government so it's inappropriate that they got this document they got the go ahead from the government to erect these structures right. and the same government wants to come to demolish those houses and uh, you know you could see the minister there speaking to them but i picked up a tone that i believe that is not appropriate 
from a, a government official. It was disrespectful to those residents. It was rude. I should, he was rude. He was arrogant. Minister Wiki was arrogant because I could hear, oh, uh, who asked you to talk? I could hear stupid. I mean, I, the, the, I, I, the shut up. Yeah. I mean, how, how, how can... I, I'm still looking forward to the day that I will sum up, up courage mm. to talk to my employer, mm. my CEO, my ogre like that. Mm. Because whether we like it or not, mm. the people are the employers so, of the again. government. Take your time. Talk to me again. What is it you want to do? Uh, I will have to go, out, go to Mr. Wiki for a tutorial <laughs> for me to be able to do that. Okay, because the people are his employer. Exactly. They are his employer. Mr. President is, is his employer. No. He's the people, appointee. The people employed Mr. President to that employed him. him. Okay. So they are even the Oga Oga. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? They are is Oga Oga. In your so book, Abi, how, how dare he talk to the people to the his Oga Oga, Oga like that? Mm. I mean, there's a way you can speak to is people respectfully. Respect, respect, yeah. Even if they were your employees, there's a way you talk to people respectfully. You don't downgrade people. You don't talk to people like oh, yeah, they are nobodies. No, I, I watched that video yesterday and I was irritated. I was vexed. If you were there, what would you have done? I would have walked out, really. Because I, I, the there's, minister? There, there's nothing I could have done, but I would have walked out. Because minister? I would not have been able to stand and take that insult. So the I minister know the people, would be in front of his no, jeep I, I, which, talking to you, telling which, you to which, which jeep? You now walk out. I say, bru, 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 you are walking away. I would walk out okay. because I, I know the people are in a very helpless situation yeah, because at that point. Uh, they are the community. The, oh, yes, the their developer. houses are about to be, you know, brought down. And they know. And you know, they you just have to. Away. And I could hear them say, "Yes, sir." And when he said, "You people, mm. you you harassed the mm. FCTA yes, officials." No. They know, sir. We he did said, not. Uh, bring your guns. He said, "We don't we have guns." guns. <laughs> you know, I I, I could. I could hear how helpless these people were and they just wanted to talk with the just minister avoid trouble. and avoid trouble. But I didn't like the tone of Minister right. Wiki. I know that, yes, people might say that is how he talks, mm. but I think uh, the minister needs to tame his tongue and talk to the people respectfully. Right. It's important. Mm. Let's move over to reactions at this time. Kiki underscore Fabs says, you want to demolish where people live with your families and you're saying, do not talk. You where they talk. And we know fit here waiting you they talk. Aren't these men supposed to have retired by now? It's obvious their brains are depreciating. This is according to Kiki underscore Fabs. This is not these are not my words. In function, and they are not even ready to listen. These people have their documents, that's their papers, and you still want to collect uh, their land. I mean, documents too do not mean anything in Nigeria. And Bestie 01 says, Who are you that you cannot be talked to? the audacity to talk down on people. Mm. And you can see, you can feel the pulse of people on social media yeah. that they are not having it. Uh, Jade, Vin, Jade Vine Auto says, this is supposed to be a public servant. And you can see the emoji like, who are you, Minister Wiki? Mm. Who cares if you are a two-term governor? Who cares if you've been a minister before? Who cares if you've been a local government chairman before? Who cares? Mm. For now, mm. you are a public servant yeah. and you answer to the people. And lastly, from well, eight, I, I'm not sure they feel that way. Let, let me read this one yeah, from eight yeah. underscore. The police says, as much as I love what he's doing in FCT, but it is wrong to silence them no matter who you are. Mm. And that is it. It, it, it should be mm. you are going to, there to listen to them, right. to know what went wrong calmly. Not you bringing, you know, braggadocious self in front of the people you mm. claim to serve like and you're Lord. telling them to shut up. I mean, I'm talking. How, so how, how worse can that be? How worse? It, 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 I mean, for me, if it's like you talking and you say, sh sh listen, shut up. Mm. Shut up. Let me talk to you. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Reason. I don't know what those people, you know, drink. I mean, I, I feel things actually. Um, I, I think that was the pulse of Nigerians at this time. And it seems we are helpless, you know, because you, it, it's, do you know we make some of these Frankenstein ourselves? We give our leaders that, you know, first pass sense of Lord to subject relationship. You guys are not even kings. At all. Because, because it's kings that are monarch. At all. And, you know, and king and noble. Even there a king a, will not speak in that way. Kings are known for their nobility. There is a way that is not expected of, of a king to talk. That's why if you see kings, when they are angry and they stand up, you see all the chiefs will bow 
because they know, oh, Papa doesn't have to say anything. He's angry at that point. And the, most of the kids will not say anything. They just go into their room because they don't want to say things that they will not be able to reverse because their word is power. If yeah. they're angry and say, go and kill him, that's it. definitely that's it. And some of them will just keep quiet. Everybody will, re will revel, you know, to that authority. But we are not even practicing that. This is not, I'm not even sure that's the way we, it's done in UK where the king comes and the king will not, King Charles will not even talk to people like that, by the way. Yeah. How many times do they even talk? Now, the man was there. That's his own staff. That's why I said some of these people, the lords, yeah. we make them feel that way. Mm. When people want to talk, you see another person say, ah, please, oh, don't talk to them, oh, because they will do these things, so. Oh. Mm. And because that person knows that you fear him, mm. he will come at you. This same minister, okay, you remember, mm. when he was in power, he has desecrated the, a traditional institution by a way of talking to a particular monarch in his office who possibly he didn't like or who said he did something. He, he had to say, this guy that is wearing all of these things. So when we were in school, we used to send him, you know, errands. Yeah. And now that he's a king, he's not putting these things. He's, he's fake, fake, fake. That was the language. <laughs> oh, now nah, fake. And then you are shaking your head. Do you know what? <laughs> it's the way you sound like it. Angry. <laughs> At that particular thing, yeah. other monarchs were quiet. At best, when he now said, you're not wearing this thing, you're feeling like a big person. It's fake, fake, fake. That it wasn't. Other monarchs were laughing. Yeah. We made them that it's our fault. Mm. We made those rulers to feel they are not approachable. You cannot talk back. I'm not even saying talk back at them. Talk to them. Yeah. And you could, the developer was trying to say, I have my document. He said, you harass them, my men, and then go and bring your guns. Okay. He said, I don't know what you are smoking. You are not the only one smoking it. He said that in the beginning. Yeah. More like, whatever you think you do, you are not the only one that can do it, a federal minister. Mm. But it's not just about Wiki. It, that is the, it was because camera was there. Mm. Do you know how many things we do? And not just people in politics. There is a way this superior to um, subordinate thing works. You feel because you are there, nobody can approach you. Nobody yeah. should talk to you whenever you are sitting nobody should be standing or you know and then you know everybody is always looking for a way those things that you think those guys are suffering eh? those guys that are suffering it put them in a in a way put power in their hands most likely they will do it the was. same thing to us it's, there's a thing with us where, where whenever we feel we're in power mm. but for appointed persons wiki has done before and it's a shame now that we have taken it to be oh it's his personality she mm. you know him Mm. Let him be. More wa for niwa. Like the like, you know, say. It's even more like a jack way with a lock of yawo, you know, mm. so that he can allow us. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just, you know, just leave him uh, he will speak him. Mm. <laughs> he, he will say whatever. <laughs> okay. He will say whatever I want to say, but we made them yeah. down. They okay. serve at the behest of the people. But these persons will tell you, I serve at the behest mm. of the main um the president. We, that is the same issue that is happening happening in river states now and the president just feel like well whatever whatever whoever wins is still my win mm. you know that's another conversation yeah. in that particular thing but then it's ignoble it is not something expected of an high a high ranking yeah. cabinet member I agree. in that particular thing. it might I be working might be doing roads and all of those things i agree but what's your relationship with, with the, the people? people i agree um, we have more stories, but this is where we would have to uh, press on the brakes mm. uh, so that we can allow for other mm. broadcasts to take over. Thank you so much and for... That's what I want to ask you, but whatever you think you are smoking, Brazil, you are the only one smoking it. Okay, stop that thing. Yeah, you, stop you, that you, thing. You, you bring guns. I know that you. You, you, <laughs> you, you are bringing guns. Go and bring your guns. I don't before. have a gun, sir. Eh? I don't have a gun. Okay, you harass my, my, my I do not. Force. I do not harass you. No, no, we didn't. <laughs> we have to go, people. Thank you for being a part of our world. We'll make a return tomorrow for the last edition of Spring Trends right here on Western Spring Television. On behalf of Femi Ojo and I, Evelyn Ohiole, have for yourself a good and productive day. Mm. Bye.